we rolling? You know, I've spent a lot of years worried about people's perception of me. You know, when people think I'm, like, a certain way or a certain thing, and people... I'm comfortable with me. I am me. This is me, y'all. This is me, y'all. Take it or leave it. This is crazy. Will Smith getting rounds of applause on Instagram, writing, I'm in the worst shape of my life. <laughs> One fan responding, thank you. Aren't we all after this pandemic? Will Smith's dad bod has inspired a social media movement. I didn't realize quite how big Will had got. <laughs> and oh, I believe wow. you, Will. I believe you. You can do it, Will. Yes, yes. <laughs> we're counting on you. I'm going to lose 20 pounds in 20 weeks. Let us begin. So that was the kind of show I thought I was making, but things turned out a little bit different. What's going on right now, Will? I think, um... Um, I don't want to do any of this. I'm finished with the best shape of my life. When I started this year, I thought I was gonna show the world how Will Smith gets in shape. Okay, we're done. Let's back it up. Uh, yeah. I had no idea what I was really about to show the world. You are killing me. You don't bring a film crew and everything, Jazz, if you don't have everything set up. You pulled the curtain back on your entire mechanism. We're here on another stupid day this whole stupid show we're trying to do. I was going to be the best father the planet had ever seen, or I was going to be dead. Mm. I'm at a calorie deficit, and I'm in here crying every day. God damn it! I'm, I'm done. Let's let's set that shot up so it feels like he's the lighting is better here. Oh, oh wait, so should we should we do the weight? Yeah, you can do that one first. Hi guys. Smith body journey. Happy New Year! Happy New Year. Okay, so there's a little bit of understanding that needs to happen before we do this. So, my physique in the past has been spectacular in some circumstances. All right, so, I did a movie. I started before COVID where I played Richard Williams, who is Venus and Serena's father. The character required that I put weight on. So I put on weight. You know, the thicky woo-woo. No mistakes, no mistakes. And then COVID-19 hit. 
COVID made the wait more than the roll call for. I folded the tuna in gently. You can't get caught looking for food while you're hungry. Nobody is disciplined enough to be hungry and it's muffins there and not eat the muffins. I, I have a question. Yes. How much weight did the roll? Hold on, hold on. I don't, this isn't a, is this a Q&A? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? I'm embarrassed, okay? We gonna keep it real, I'm embarrassed, okay? Over COVID, at the same time as grazing through the pantry, I'm trying to finish my memoir. This book is about me. <laughs> The real Will Smith, the whole Will Smith, and nothing but the Will Smith, so help me God. In that moment, I decided I made a silent promise to myself, to my mother, to my family. One day, I would be in charge, and this was never, ever going to happen again. Whew. Chapter one, Jesus. Whew. But honestly, it was like the more time I had, the harder I found it to write. I had serious writer's block, and I'm not feeling great, like mentally or physically. So this is a clean slate. I, I embrace adversity as opportunity. And I know it's within my power to take anything and make it be the best thing that ever happened. So today is the first way in. Under normal circumstances, you wouldn't see what you about to see, okay? It's secret. Oh, jeez, this is bad. This is bad. This is bad. Ah. I'm gonna go to the 200, which I'm sure is it, but it's like not moving at all at 200. So that's 210. Hold on, uh oh, wait, hold on, wait, that's not too bad. Okay, okay, it is, that's right about 220, that's, I mean, uh, 218, it's like just short of 219. Yeah. That's not too bad, right? Yeah, 219. Two, 18. Oh, damn, hold on, hold on, hold on. It wasn't <laughs> Oh, damn. Oh, damn. That's terrible. It was just a little bit off. OK, all right, OK. Damn. I was, I was, I was feeling bad. OK, it's 221. <laughs> it's 221, it's 221. Why'd you decide to film all this? Kind of expose yourself like this. Uh, that's a very good question. Um, yeah, I guess the cameras, for me, act like a, what do you, what do you call it in Alcoholics Anonymous when you have the, the partner? Like, what, what is that? Uh, a sponsor. A sponsor, yeah, yeah. So it's like, for me, I'm a performer, so the cameras act like my sponsor. They keep me accountable. When I know the world is gonna see it, <laughs> it's like the greatest peer pressure there is. I'm not gonna fail if it's on camera. Perfect. See one, take one, B cam. I'm Dr. Romani Dervasala, Dr. Romani, and I am a licensed clinical psychologist and an author. And I've been working with Will for about a year now. Bringing the cameras in is a double-edged sword. I do sometimes wonder if, for Will, they allow him to perform, to be funny, and that deflects from his embarrassment. You know what? <laughs> I'm going Marlon Brando, butt and gut. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's it. When we can joke about something, our pain, our problems, our tragedies, it makes us feel that maybe they're not so bad. As a part of my writing process, I put together this gathering that I call Book Camp. Chapter three, performance. 
In a nutshell, I'm gathering some of the best writers and thinkers, along with everyone I write about, and putting us all together in one room to dive deeply into every word of the book. Uh, here with DJ Jazzy Jeff. He's in the book, and I'm telling all his business. <laughs> Literally all of it, and everybody gets a chance to respond. I don't think anyone has ever been this my, real. My. <laughs> Sometimes we have a good time but sometimes it's more like a therapy session. Most of my memories of my childhood involve me being afraid in some way. Afraid of other kids, afraid of being hurt or embarrassed, afraid of being seen as weak. How we decide to confront our fears, that is the person we become. I decided to be funny. It's this compulsive desire to constantly please others, to keep them laughing and smiling at all times, to redirect all the attention in the room away from the ugly and uncomfortable toward the joyful and beautiful. It's there a true entertainer is born. My, my inner verse is feeling weird. Like, uh, it's like, it's like being overloaded right now. It's mm -hmm. like, whoa. Oh, man. <laughs> this is really... That's the opening chapter. Next chapter is Mutiny. And you all have wonderful roles in Mutiny. <laughs> <laughs> to me, humor is Will's first language. So I want to get a sense of what my new body is doing at being over 50. It is the ultimate defense. It's the ultimate protection. So now I'm over 50, right? Oh, ooh, we get the play. Squeezy ball. <laughs> the funnier the person, the greater the pain. Is he faking it? I'm faking it, yeah. <laughs> there you go, you see that? You see that? There you go, that's it. OK, two-time Academy Award nominee right there, ladies and gentlemen, Will Smith. <laughs> For Will, the real psychological trick would be to open up and not crack the joke. One of the issues with using humor as a tool to hide what you're really feeling is that no matter how strong you are, no matter how powerful you are, eventually the pressure becomes too much. My name is Aaron Ferguson. I'm a personal trainer. I've been working with Will for about, well, this is the ninth year. I've never seen him like this, and he's never, ever been in this bad a shape ever. So sleep, obviously, getting as much as you can, but watching the amount of caffeine you take. Yeah, no, we're not going to do that. Pick something else. Let me do this. <laughs> yeah, so our goal is to lose around a pound a week with a new diet, a new exercise program, that method is the most sustainable. This is like not a simple walk when you fat. <laughs> so the basic framework is we'll do two days of resistance training, then we'll take off, and then we go back on two days. Will's a big fan of doing cardio first thing in the morning, so we'll do some sunrise runs. When I mean some, I mean every morning. And then we'll do the resistance training a little bit later in the day. So the first week of working out, this guy says, let's just get the movement so we avoid injury, right? Most people have this picture of what they did when they're 18 years old and naturally assume that you're going to get back to that particular point. And you probably can. It's just you've got to do it gradually. We're not shooting that. New. 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 Not going to happen. Mm. Terrible. From I am legends to I am luggage. <laughs> 2021, best shape of my life. Dude, nice. That's pretty 
start, huh? Who plays next time? It's my mind. Yeah, it's also your knees. No, it's not my knees. My <laughs> knees. My knees are fine, mate. I told you it's my bloody mind. You know, I just gotta be aggressive, be -E aggressive, be aggressive, be -E aggressive. A G G R E S S I V E aggressive, be -E aggressive. Woo! That's how I keep myself going. His life's never in balance. He's writing his autobiography. And when you're involved that emotionally in a project, it's gonna take a lot of time and energy. The big challenge with him is energy management. Oh, Why y'all letting me have my strap out like that? <laughs> I got like Leroy from fame. <laughs> Somebody gonna throw put some water down on me. <laughs> Good, 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 good. Uh, nice. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect. Solid. Holy moly, man. I'm really interested to see what the result is this week because he, um, yeah, he worked really hard. So I am, I am expecting a, a, a decent result. Impermanence is the law of the universe. You're gonna change. Your body's gonna change, your family's gonna change, your circumstances are gonna change. No matter how good you get a circumstance that's perfect exactly how you like it, it's gonna change. Nothing lasts forever. I promised myself that during the good times, I would plant and nurture the seeds of the next thing. In the same way that my music career was scorching hot, then icy cold, I knew the same thing would one day happen in TV. I asked myself, after television, what would be my next thing? There was only one answer, movies. Part of the way that I look at life is you try to out-create the cycle of destruction. So it's like getting ahead of change. There's nothing I've ever experienced like changing your body that teaches the rules of the universe. Transforming and cultivating a healthy body and a healthy mind is really similar to the macro process of cultivating a better world. 222. 222. It doesn't feel right. We might need to check that surface. I put weight on. Should we go run and grab the other scale, the like small one? Or the... Which one? We can take the scale on a hard surface real quick. The or gym you... has the smaller scale though, if we wanted to run and get it. No, no, that's the, listen, you gotta, let me see. So that's a failure for this week. So from 20 pounds in 20 weeks, and now we come 23 pounds. Well, yeah. <laughs> um, oh here, and this asshole looking at me like, he looking at me like, shit, during my day, this bullshit wouldn't be happening. Like, during my day, we dropped that shit in six weeks. That's what he's saying. He's like, I feel like I'm disrespecting his legacy. Punching in some stupid numbers into his little stupid phone. with this whole stupid show we're trying to do. Helping people evolve. That's stupid. It's not stupid. It's the only thing that could make a person happy. I know. It doesn't seem to be working right now, but What you've come to understand as Will Smith, the alien annihilating MC, bigger than life movie star, is largely a construction. A carefully crafted and honed character. Designed to protect myself, to hide myself from the world, to hide the coward. <laughs>